Welcome to Switched On Schoolhouse, a CD-ROM based homeschool curriculum from Alpha Omega Publications. Switched On Schoolhouse Biology is a high school science course that is typically included in a 10th grade course of study. Topics include taxonomy, key to organization, cells, genetics, God's plan of inheritance, plants, green factories, ecology, pollution, and energy, and much more. Now let's take a look at a biology lesson to see how concepts like these are covered. In a unit entitled Human Anatomy and Physiology, let's look at a lesson called Body Framework. Most switched on schoolhouse lessons begin with a brief introduction and a list of objectives for the lesson. These objectives help students stay focused on important lesson content and provide parents with an effective way to measure mastery of lesson content. At the beginning of most lessons, your students will also encounter a list of vocabulary words that will be used throughout the lesson. We've included several activities to encourage mastery of these important words. For example, students can hear the correct pronunciation of each word. Tibia, tonsil. In addition, the vocabulary arcade games encourage mastery of the vocabulary words by providing practice in the correct spelling of each word and in matching each word with its definition. Let's look at a sample. Flashcards allow students to easily review the words and their definitions. After this introductory material, your students then move independently through the lesson, reading the text-based instruction and utilizing the multimedia features that have been provided. X-rays show what's going on inside the body. Let's take a look at several X-rays of different body parts. In this X-ray of a rib cage, notice that the ribs originate from the vertebrae and insert into the sternum the flat bone running down the front of the rib cage. In this x-ray of a hand, you can clearly see the bones. The bones of the fingers are the carpals and the metacarpals. The carpals are the larger bones coming from the wrist, and the metacarpals are the ones originating from the carpals. Notice how this x-ray of a foot is very similar to the hand. See the bones making up the toes? The main part of the bones of the toe are inside the fleshy part of the foot. These long bones are called the tarsals. They come from the ankle. The shorter bones originating from the tarsals are the metatarsals. A variety of audio-visual presentations, including videos, slideshows, and animations, provide reinforcement of lesson content. Cranium cervical vertebra, clavicle, scapula, sternum, humerus, patella, tibia, fibula, tarsals, metatarsal, phalanges, Web-enabled links allow students to safely use the Internet to locate carefully chosen supplements to course content. Colorful diagrams, maps, and photographs help to effectively illustrate lesson concepts that are being covered in the lesson. At the end of the lesson, the student is presented with a series of questions that provide a review of lesson content. Questions are presented in a variety of formats, including matching, fill you got in the, the blank, right answer. essay questions, and many more. 85 to 90% of student work is graded instantly by the program. 
If a parent has set Good the program answer. to allow for multiple attempts, students will be looped back through the lesson to answer questions that were marked wrong on the first attempt. The lesson is complete when all questions have been answered correctly or when the student has exhausted his allowed attempts on each question. The student can then return to the home page to continue through the rest of his daily assignments.